Announce yourself. Hey everybody, it's me, Tavy. <laughs> The seven seas are like a vagina, salty, wet, and I've only seen one of them during a field trip in sixth grade. The seven seas are like a vagina. I'm pretty sure that there are monsters in there. The seven seas are like a vagina. They both have semen in them. The seven seas are like a vagina. And you squirt a bunch of oil in there, everybody gets all mad! <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Tammy! The Seven Seas are like a vagina. Once a month, they fill with blood. Here is a list of reasons that I am like a lumberjack. One, we both lead solitary lives. Two, although mine isn't as well filled out, we both have luxurious sensual beards. Three, we both chop down trees. I don't do it towards any cause though. I just pick a tree, chop it down, and leave it to fudge there. Four, I'm a big burly man. Five, we both agree that the seven seas are like a box of vaginas. You never know what you're going to get. People, I have seen more than one vagina who told you that I had a monkey. Some monkey, a monkey with its ready shirt and handsome face and fully headed hair. The seven seas are like a vagina. I have the ability to stay inside of one for hours. Whoa, spoiler alert, future girlfriends. The seven seas are like a vagina. When sailing the waters, you need to make sure that you go out there twice. That's right, ladies, I do it twice. Once for each of the number of times that I do it. The seven seas are like a vagina. When in unfamiliar waters, you need to keep in constant radio contact at all times in case you get into trouble and don't know what to do or you know you get stuck or something. The seven seas are like a vagina on a clear night with calm waters. Some sailors swear that you can hear emitting from them the tuneful and sorrowful songs of mermaids. The seven seas are like a vagina, they make me puke. The seven seas are like a vagina, after a bunch of rocking back and forth, I just want it to be over with. The seven seas are like a lumberjack, on a, on a calm night they will gently rock you to sleep. The end. with it. I am fed up with all you and all of the things that you are doing. I don't like your poetry or robots or even how you play the Who's an Alien game. Let me settle this once and for all. There are three different contexts in which somebody would say the phrase Who's an Alien. One, who's an alien like who's your daddy? Like a rhetorical question to display a show of hubris. It is quite apparent who the alien is. Who's an alien? I'm an alien! Number two context of why somebody would say who's an alien as per the goal of the game called who's an alien. The object of the game being, as you all know, to think of how many different ways or reasons that somebody would say who's an alien. And there are three, I'm sick of it, three ways, that's it. Number two of three. Okay, like you're an astronaut from Earth and you have the hubris to assume that everybody on the alien planet that you are on, that all of the aliens are the aliens, and then you get in a confrontation and call one of them aliens, and they get all mad and like, who's an alien? Okay, here's number three. People, this is not a comedy piece, this is an informational report about how I am angry with you. I didn't just use it as a veiled attempt to give you three reasons somebody would exclaim or question who the alien is. I'm telling you these reasons to ruin the game for you. Why have all of these contexts included hubris? Number three of three, the last reason that anybody would ever say it, okay, like a guy, 
like a guy that is an alien hunter and he's hunting aliens and he's in a crowd and not sure who an alien is. That is, those are the definitive three reasons why anybody would say it. There are no more, so don't even try it. Three, and also a fourth, like, who's a good dog? Like you see an adorable baby alien and pitch it on its slimy cheek and say, who's an alien? There, I hope I ruined the game for you, you boogers, you big bunch of butter faces. No, butter head. Bread butts, you big bunch of bread butts. I am about ready to go off. I will wish you all a good day. Purchase a bottle of water, politely open the emergency hatch, apologetically deploy the slide, and gently scoop my bottom down off of it. In conclusion, I would like to retell you that I am hopping mad. I ruined your favorite game. There are only three reasons why everybody would anybody say who's an alien and something else I already forgot and I'm not going back to reread what it was. The end.